you can count yourself as human if you've ever opened your mouth and been shocked by what came out. We are nowhere near perfect when it comes to communicating. Since so much is at stake when you speak, it's really worthwhile sitting back and analysing the areas you can improve. I'm Sarah, a speech pathologist and opera singer who helps you deliver high performance communication. On this channel, the content pivots around powerful tips to help you leverage your communication more effectively. So if you like the sound of that, you should definitely subscribe. In today's episode of The Little Shot, I want to share three behaviours that could be killing your message. Our first behaviour is loss of logic. When speaking, we hope for logical flow and clarity. This requires our brain to process and plan a message with a tight structure at a comfortable pace. While it's not possible to always be logical, coffee usually helps me personally, it is possible to get better at it. I recommend investing time in developing logic templates for scenarios that you struggle with. These could be flowcharts, matrices or tables that serve as blueprints for your message. Our team at Voice Science have developed a lot for our high performance communication clients. We see that when you have a tight structure that you can draw upon in the heat of the moment, your speaking comfort and impact will definitely improve. The next behaviour that could be killing your communication is loss of rate. If you're under high pressure, sleep deprived, caught off guard or feeling intense performance anxiety, you may notice that your speaking rate can go completely out of whack. Ideally, you maintain comfort rate. Comfort rate is a flowing rate of speech that gives you sufficient time to plan your message, choose the best words, and speak without interruptions, hesitations, fillers, excessive gaps, and rushes of speech. Now, the goal isn't to sound like a robot, but there are some strategies that can definitely help you maintain a comfort rate. The best strategies for creating seamless flow usually come down to personalised strategies for your communication preparation. We like to train you to get a good sense of the time you have up your sleeve to prepare a good message and will develop a personal framework to help you fix rate deficits in your speaking. The final behaviour today that I want to talk about that can kill your communication is loss of balance. Interpersonal communication success relies on your ability to balance your delivery. To do it well, you need to be able to move with skill between different tones in a balanced manner. For example, I consider that every speaker must have the ability to be assertive, diplomatic and persuasive. To get the impact that you want and receive the respect that you deserve, you can't tap out of any of these behaviours. It's simply not okay to say, I'm really diplomatic, but you know, assertiveness, I don't really do that. Communication strength relies on active participation. And every time you tap out of a skill because you feel like it's out of character or you're not good at it, you're selling yourself short. If we had that attitude as kids, for example, we'd still be eating mushy carrots. But guess what? We didn't start life eating solids neatly, did we? We learned that skill because we needed it. Just because communication style or activity, like public speaking or networking, is difficult, it doesn't mean it's okay to avoid it. So, if that struck a nerve, make sure you get your hands on the one-page communication kit over on our website. This will build a foundation for you to consider how you might scale your communication agility. There's no such thing as a perfect communicator, but there is such a thing as perfect preparation. If you're desperate to do something about your communication, I want to encourage you to do it. Life is too demanding to set communication skills to the side. I hope that this episode gave you a few ideas and areas that you might like to think about improving. Let me know how you go and if you found this one helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao! Enchanté. Thank you.